Hi friends, welcome to Learn in Minute series. This is Varun, and in this video, we are going to look into the Sackman framework in enterprise architecture. What is the Sackman framework? Sackman in nineteen eighty seven introduced a framework which gives the fundamental structure for enterprise architecture. Moreover. it provides a formal and structured way of viewing and defining an enterprise so sackman first introduced this framework in 1987 and there are lots of versions for this framework has been created after the introduction and now the recent version of sackman framework which we are using is version 3.0 The Sackman framework contains six rows and six columns, totally forming thirty-six cells. So let us look into this. What are all the uh, columns and the rows? So first, we can start with the columns. The columns in the Sackman framework are number one, the data, which represent what the data that we are going to process. from where uh, what is the actual data we are going to process with and the second column is the function which represents how the process is done and the third column is the network it represent where it is happening the fourth one is the people who all are involved in it fifth is the time when to be done and the sixth column is the motivation why is it needed so these are all the columns that are present in the sackman framework which answers the w5h questions that is what where who when why and how so now let us look into what are all the six rows that are available in the sackman framework so starting from number 1 the scope context which represents the business purpose and the strategy number 2 is the business concepts which represents the part of the enterprise that can be automated number 3 is the system logic this represents how the system fulfills the business information needs and the next row represent the technology physics which represent how the system will implement and next is the tool component which represents the implementation specific details and the last one is the operation instances which represents the functioning of the system so these are the rows and the columns which are available in the sackman framework so now we want to fill all these 6 cross 6 matrix that is all these 36 fields we need to fill so what is the data and corresponding the scope context similarly the data corresponding to the business context then the data corresponding to the system logic then the data corresponding to the technology physics data corresponding to the tool components and at last the data connected with the operation instances so when completing all these rows at the end of the all the rows you will be getting the operation instances what is actually the implementation phase this is a sample sackman 3.0 framework where you could see the all the columns are represented by the w5h terms which is seen at the end at the bottom what how where who when and why similarly 
all the concepts has been represented at the right you could see that scope context business concept system logic technology physics tool components and operation instances so now you will be creating or mapping all those 36 cells based on the enterprise what you are going to do for so based on your erp you will be filling all these data so when this is completed at the end you could see that the inventory instantiation has been completed process instantiation has been done distribution instantiation has been done responsibility instantiation has been done timing instantiation you have got motivation instantiation you have got so at the end of this zachman framework you will be getting what are all the data needed how you are going to perform all those things and where the data are being available the basic locations and how it is connected then you will be knowing who all are the persons involved in that or what is the roles and what are all the work products you will be getting then also you will be getting the timing the cycles and the moments etc and at the end you will be getting the actual operation of the particular enterprise system this is how the sagman framework helps in enterprise architecture hope this video helped in understanding the basis of the sagman framework thank you for watching thank you